That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can do it, you can do it! <laughs> what do you think of the lamp? Young Rose, I'm young. Finally, yeah? Yeah. Uh, arriving at 9 a.m., we were the first guests. Our entrance fee was 10,000 T shillings per person. You see the water now? You see the color? Oh, I see. Wow. The water was amazingly clear first thing in the morning, so Michael and I decided to bust out the GoPro and shoot some cool underwater shots. This hole is the hot spring source. Next, Michael challenged me to free dive to the bottom of the hole. Though I tried several times, I was unable to clear the pressure from my ears and forced to return to the surface defeated. Michael, however, was able to reach the bottom easily. And scooped up a handful of sand to prove that he had done so. Next, Michael fired up the drone. I wouldn't know for sure, but I think that hole's about 15 feet deep. Still feeling the shame of my freediving defeat, I decided instead to practice my artistic swimming. I think I look pretty graceful underwater. What do you guys think? Look out Paris 2024, here I come. Well, how do you make your own? Your own. They bite me, the fish. Yeah. <laughs> Just here at the African foot spa. After a few hours of swimming, we had lunch delivered from a nearby kitchen. Okay, we've got some chipsies, American French fries, chicken. Just uh, yang rou. This is uh, lamb. Local salad. More chips. Hola. I'm hungry. Yo yo. A lot of water. A lot of water coming down, coming out. Out of the, out of the hot springs. Right. This is the this is the storm. Mm -hmm. so it's going down. It pushed me come to the storm. Oh wow. Yeah. It's a big power, that's right. It's about crazy. Temperature is okay. Yeah, no it's just normal. What do you think of the lamb? Young Rose, I'm young. Yeah, they eat a lot of lamb here in Tanzania. We've got chili sauce. Chili sauce. Chili sauce, yeah, and then this is tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. It's like their version of the ketchup, but it's always very brightly colored. And the good thing about swimming, this is like really local food. Yeah, this is really, really local. Local food. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they put the salt or not. <laughs> oh no, no salt. Well, here, here's Yen. Ah, okay. Um, the good thing about swimming is working up a great appetite. So whenever you're hungry, food always tastes better. Very hungry. Even without salt. Oh, look at how thin this is. It's like water. <laughs> Yang Rao. Oh, sorry. It's sweet. It's Chinese. Sweet. It's sweet. Really? I don't know if it comes from the meat or they put something. I don't know. Mm, this piece is really tough. It's good, good flavor though. I like the chicken. The salad is interesting. It has avocado, carrot, cucumber, bell pepper, and an interesting kind of vinegar sauce. Not bad. Mm. 
Sanban Chama. Like a football game. It's the first 45 minutes and yeah. second 45 minutes. So our 45 minutes finished. Mm -hmm. Now and then remain another 45 minutes. Okay, yeah. In Sanban Chama. Okay, yeah. We would say half time. Half time. Shinzai is your woman to half time. Half time. We get to refuel and then we continue. Arriving here first thing in the morning, there was basically nobody here. But now it's turning into a bit of a party scene. We've got the Bluetooth speaker bumping. We've got our watch, which we just finished. And let's see what we have going on at the swimming hole. Look at this bro. One handed. That's crazy. <laughs> There's a lot of people here now. Huge group. Some wildlife too. I even saw a giant lizard hanging out near the restrooms, but he was a little camera shy. <laughs> Perfect belly flop. <laughs> Are you jumping? Nice. Oh, sick out. Ooh. Cool. Olympics. <laughs> enjoyed this episode of life with lenin music travel and inspiration please take a moment to like share and subscribe and if you get the opportunity i recommend visiting matimoto hot springs in moshi tanzania maybe we can even go together much love peace and blessings